Hello, welcome to today's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. We're going to take a look at my solve of uh, Thursday's puzzle. I think Mark's put up a, a vlog on The Guardian today, so that'll also be worth taking a look at. Um, hopefully, um, hopefully the software's working in terms of you seeing the solve. Um, I'm, I'm not going to talk through every clue today. Uh, I'm just going to focus on a, on a few. Um, there's there's two or three I think points of contention actually to take into uh, this puzzle. I I really don't like two or three of the of the clues here. Um, but um, anyway, we'll get to those. Uh, there were some ways in. There were quite a lot of anagrams um, and uh, one or two uh, one or two gimmies I suppose. So alder there isn't too difficult. Tree with less on top no top at all so if you're if you're balder you have less on top and you you cut the first letter off and that gives you alder which type of tree is nothing too difficult there um nine across interesting word chaps by a road constructing top of building um i could see that was probably the name for top of a building and i could see it was probably chap i mean the most natural synonym is man and a road for ARD, so it looked very much like mansard, but it's just not a word I knew. And it, in the end, I did put it in because I think I had all of the checking letters. Um, uh, and it does turn out to be some some form of a roof or another. Um, let's just take a moment to look at this one. Five five down here. Dishwater. Uh, you see, I've put it in. So, Spooner's desire, girl becoming the epitome of dullness. Now. We've talked a few times before about this uh, technique that setters use. Um, uh, whenever you see the word spooner in a clue, uh, or the reverend spooner, or for the reverend, or something like that, it's a reference to um, Reverend Spooner. I can't remember when he was alive, but what he famously did is he exchanged the initial letters of phrases. Um, so dishwater in this case would become wish daughter, um, which sounds like um, a desire for a girl, uh, a wish daughter. Um, so there is there are any number of ways in which this can be used, but um, it, it's very popular in the times, and you don't tend to see it too much in other in other broadsheet cryptics. Um, but I would say it probably comes up maybe once a week in the times. Um, definitely worth knowing. Um, the way to get it in this instance is not to think about spoonerism at all. Uh, spoonerism is actually very hard to solve just by looking at the wordplay. Normally I'd recommend looking at the definition, trying to come up with something that, that fits the definition and then testing it against, against the spoonerism. Um, so I mean that's exactly what I did here. I just tried to think of, of you know, what is the epitome of dullness? Well, as dull as dishwater is a relatively well-known phrase, and then thinking about why does that work? Um, so as I say, three down, three across, that's an anagram of, um, which I think is randomized, um, modern aids. Treacherous type, this wasn't too difficult either. You just had to, whenever you see any reference to French, always try and come up with the French word that it's talking about. In this case, it was very. Uh, very I knew was tray, so I knew I was reversing tray around something. Um, and again, the most common synonym for writer is probably pen. The other things you could think about for short synonyms would be Poe, as in Edgar Allan Poe, and sometimes nib as well. Um, but here it was pen, so that gave a serpent, which wasn't too difficult. I don't like this clue from 13 across. So I'll just talk about it for a moment. Money needed for memorial. Um, well, I'll tell you that this begins with a B, and you can have a think about whether uh, whether you can get the answer. I'm actually just going to reach for the dictionary now and check uh, in what sense this answer is correct. I'm sure it's fine, but um, bra. <laughs> yeah, okay. So brass is the answer. Brass can, is obviously the alloy of copper and zinc. Uh, the other definitions given here are effrontery in slang, which I think I've, I've certainly heard of. Money, which is what's referred to in the clue, certainly heard of that. 
an article or fixture of brass, a renewable sleeve for a bearing, never knew that, a memorial plate of brass in a church. Um, so that is hidden there amongst the definitions, which also include wind, wind instruments and a prostitute. So I think I didn't know two of those definitions. Um, and certainly, well, I don't know, it's fair enough, isn't it? I guess at the end of the day, it's there in the dictionary, can't complain, but I thought that was pretty difficult. Um, uh, you see me take a look at six down again. Let's just pause it quickly here. Um, front of cafe, I admire built badly. Well, that's quite clearly an anagram of the first letter of cafe and the letters I admire built. And it means strange to say. Now, as we'll see later on, um, this is not a, a very easy expression to come up with if you are unless you've studied Latin at school. So if you've studied Latin at school, this will be a writing. If you haven't, it becomes a very awkward guess. Um, I'm not a massive fan of cluing these, uh, this sort of phrase um, in this way, where it's basically re um, reduced to a guess. Um, I'd, I'd rather see some wordplay that was a bit more explicit. I don't think this is a very well-known term. Um, I'll probably get a few comments on the blog saying, no, no, it's totally standard and you're a fool. Um, well, that might be the case, in which case I'll, I'll take that on the chin. But uh, I suspect that actually most people will probably not know this phrase and will be left with the same guess that I was. Um, how fair you think that was, uh, I'll leave to you. I quite like the clue here, uh, homeboy returning without money. They should not be... Um, uh, blamed. Um, so home in, we've seen that before, very short synonym, very useful. And then you had son returning for boy, S-O-N, around cents for money. But the reason I quite liked it is that it's very easy to see how O cents could be no money. So I did spend a couple of moments looking at this clue thinking how does this word, word play work? Um, and their glutton's gone in, which was um, G and Newton, I think, around a T. Um, so that wasn't too difficult. And mainstay also, I was pleased to get that. Um, I think this was reasoner, which was rear for back. And then again, another boy for son with the ending of trouble. So we've now seen, um, we've now seen boy for son twice in, the, in consecutive clues I've talked about, which is I don't know, I think that's a little bit sloppy. Um, and Dorothy L. Sayers here, we see if I could type uh, without her extreme, um, uh, extreme letters, so the first and last letters. You can already see that six down is looking like a mouthful. Now you've got a five letter word, D blank, C blank, U, um, which, uh, I'm, I, as I say, I'm sure for some people this would be a, a, a write in studied Latin at school I'm sure it would be very easy but if you didn't trust me it's not. This clue I didn't like massively either um, again just because it's verging on the obscure here we have a blank sp space in print is most important well it's a double definition this and you have to um, I spent a while here I, I know that there are various short words that I used for spaces in printing, so particularly an M, an EM, and an N, an EN, and you do see those from time to time in crosswords. So I was trying to make use of that and um, and, and try and get that to help me uh, with solving the clue. In fact, it's nothing to do with it. it the word here is means a blank space in, in print, um, and it's, it's called a leading, apparently, L-E-A, um, D-I-N-G, which obviously means most important as well. Um, but that second definition was, was another another one that I think was fairly obscure. Let's just see if I can find it. Um, It's not there under lead one, so it must be under lead two, I guess. Uh, no, still not seeing it quickly, which uh, 
which shows that it's maybe not that straightforward. Well, here it is. Okay, so lead um, or lead. Also, and it says also leading perhaps or leading. I'm not sure. A thin plate of lead separating lines of type. So I think that's I think that's where that definition is coming from. Not easy. This clue also was pretty hard. I thought. Um, I'll just pause it here. So sound from King Charles, where he was hiding, or where was he hiding? Well, um, those of us who are familiar with a bit of English history may recall that King Charles hid, uh, hid in an oak tree. So I knew that, and I could see the K in the grid. So I was trying to include. Um, oak somehow in the answer, so I was in oak, I was wondering is that a word, and a sound from a King Charles, well there's a King Charles Spaniel, so I was thinking uh, I was thinking this was some reference to a woof or a, um, uh, you know, a growl. I couldn't come up with anything, and you can see eventually I've come up with the answer where I thought that King Charles could be CR, as in Charles Rex, or I think that would be um, another Latin reference. Um, and then a croak is just a sound that doesn't really have anything to do with the dog's sound. Um, so, yeah, it was. I just felt the definition there didn't give you a lot, especially when it crossed with ocelot, which was cat in church. See, uh, hiding in books there. Now, so the definition there is cat for ocelot, and then you had church, C E, C. SWE was cluing low, L O, and all of that hiding in books there, as in books in church for Old Testament OT. Now that's really difficult, um, really difficult for many reasons, particularly, you know, almost every word in this clue has several short synonyms one could associate with it. You know, church can be C H or C E, cat can be Tom, C S W E can be low, it can be the letter C, it can be the letter V, um, it can be Ely, uh, as in the diocese. Um, so, you know, that, and then books can be just about anything B, B, N, T, O, T, A, B. Um, so, you know, a real mental exercise to deduce the correct clue there. Not easy. Um, here's me thinking about leading not really understanding it, eventually I go for it. Um, and you can see also actually, well, well, the cursor's near it. We go on way to take stuff to market for 26 across. Um, well, the answer there is trade route. And I'm struggling really to see why that is um, uh, in any way cryptic. I mean, way to take stuff to market. I mean I suppose it's trying to, the, the, the surface of the clue is trying to suggest you know you might go to market with an advertising campaign or something rather than the road on which you took the goods to market but certainly I think you know there's a very a relatively natural <laughs> clue that's you know uh, that just gives the answer which is um, you know I, I'm not sure that's ideal. Um, now I'm going to attempt to say the answer to six down now. I think it's Mirabila Dictu. Um, and I spent a while thinking about Dictu versus Dactu for the second word. And in the end thought that Dictu was maybe a bit more likely. I think, um, and that it means wonderful to, uh, wonderful to say. If something's wonderful to say, it's, um, strange to say um, it is what's, um, what the definition is actually here. I think there's also a Mirabila Visu as well, V-I-S-U, which means wonderful C. So, you know, there's your Latin lesson for today. Not easy. 14 across, it was another anagram, very clearly, right actually interpreted in an eloquent manner. Perhaps I should have got this more quickly. It's articulately, which is um, you know, not too difficult. Um, and, you know, that, that helped me, I think, because that gave us the T in concerto at two down, which was um, CT for court around once R. Um, if 
I remember rightly, with an O at the end as well. Um, I, I think I'll probably go there now. So yeah, so previously was once King R in court CT would want old, so that gets an O as well for old and an instrumental piece as a concerto. Um, we'll just see out the solve now. Mansard here. You can see I, what I was looking at with the one down was I wanted to put therm at the start for um, a small degree of heat, um, whereas actually I needed to think of temp or as, as an abbreviation for temperature. Um, which, yeah, maybe that's a little bit loose. But I think some of the lords are considered to be temporal. Um, and, you know, having spoken there for oral is a relatively common short synonym that you should all try to get familiar with. Um, so you can see I'm left here with some very difficult, or not difficult, but strange answers. You've got mansard crossing temporal. You've got the, the, the Latin phrase, I'm not saying it again. You've got trade route, which I just, I couldn't understand how it was, what, you know, what the cryptic element was, and therefore I was nervous about putting it in. You've got leading, which required you to, you know, to be confident, you needed to know this strange definition of leading or leading, however you say that. Um, and then you've got brass as well, which also required you to know this um, quite unusual definition of brass. So anyway, that's enough moaning from me. Maybe it's a bit bar humbug, and I'm uh, uh, being a bit uh, being a bit harsh today. Um, if so, sorry. It's, uh, I blame it on my daughter for waking me up at 4:30 again this morning. Um, anyway, with that, I hope this has been a helpful run through, and we'll see you again next time on cracking the cryptic.